it. Finds Grant Williams. A bounce pass goes off the foot of Curry and Karam's out of bounds. You couple the defensive toughness that's been shown, the effort, the attention, the detail, the physicality, and the brilliance of Stephen Curry offensively, and you got yourself a 14-point lead. The Warriors outscored Boston 38-24 in the third quarter, game one. Here's the inbound baseline to Tatum. Sends it over to Tice, who's in the game. Now to Pritchard, a top side three, a long one misses, and Curry chased down the rebound. They've held Boston to 12 points in the opening 10 minutes of the third quarter. Here's Curry, a long three from the right. That one's good! 29 for Curry as the Warriors have built a 17-point lead late in the third. Steph's going to step right now. You might want to double-team and get it out of his hands. Tatum defended up high by Curry. Blow half. First half to me. And on coming over, I thought in the gather that Tatum from our location, Curry at the half. Oh, good call. Had 15 points, 14 here in this third quarter. Third quarters have not been a problem for the Warriors for many years. The fourth quarter was the issue on Thursday night. Yeah, but I mean, the brilliance is pretty. Over time. Quarter. Remember... Draymond told Raj yesterday they need to finish quarters. Right now, they need to finish this one. Yeah. You're the Golden State Warriors. That's not going to get it done. No, Steph Stepped Curry out. dribbling out on that far left side. Turnover on the out-of-bounds with a minute 32 to go in the third. No pool at all in the third quarter. Steph Curry at 31 minutes, and we're only 90 seconds away from the fourth. Here's Pritchard out on the right. Bounces it to Tatum, head of the circle. Drives Curry into the lane, into Looney, and a foul call. Tatum will shoot a pair. This is exactly what we're talking about, though. The, these are big plays here, right? You're trying to stay attached. Turn it over, and you commit a foul on the other end. Okay, it was a shooting foul, but it was also... Tatum, who's got 28 points, Golden State 79, Celtic 64, final minute 15 of the third. Back-to-back, -back, split free throws. When you're in this big a hole, you can't afford to split free throws. Jordan Poole in the game now. Nice hesitation move on White Drive. Great wraparound pass down low to Looney for the score. Under control, Jordan Poole, that time. Minute to go in the third. They're pooling now here at Chase Center. Grant Williams out on the right. Down 17 are the Celtics. That was a number from game one as well. Remember, down 17. Here's Tatum spinning on Wiggins. Down to the baseline right. Doubled there. Pass out to the top white. Ball fake on the three. Drives into Looney's chest. Wow. Ball goes flying away. Ended up in the hands of Tice, but he didn't recover in time. And the shot clock expires. I think it's an exceptional no call. And Kevon Looney is a spectacular defensive player. I, I've not given him enough credit historically. Just outstanding instincts, toughness, awareness. Good decision by Steve Kerr and his staff also. He only played 10 minutes in the first half. They kind of drifted small. He stayed with Looney in the third quarter. 17-point lead. Poole will trigger a three and make it a 20-point lead. Jordan Poole with a triple. 28 seconds to go in the third. Remember in game one, Boston got four late free throws in the third. A game that could have gotten away got down to 12. They've extended it to 20. No foul to give here. Eight seconds to shoot, 12 seconds to go in the third. White at the top, squares for three, missed it. Rebound Wiggins, five seconds to go in the quarter. Ahead to Poole at half with two. Poole's going to shoot a deep three, and he hits it just inside of half court. 23-point lead for the Warriors, end of three quarters. I was surprised Steve went to him with about a minute and 20 seconds. But big-time lead, trying to get him some confidence. Back-to-back -back threes, the pool with two wet jumpers. Jordan Poole with an exclamation point at the end of the third quarter. Boston only made four field goals in the third, outscored 35-14. to 14. The Warriors will take a 23-point lead to the fourth in Game 2. This is the NBA Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indy.